Okay, so I'm making uh, pot stickers tonight. So I've got myself uh, some pork, ground pork here, and I'm going to be adding uh, some tons, tons of garlic, tons of garlic and ginger. You don't want to overdo it with sesame oil because it is quite quite strong. And a little bit of you got it. A little bit of sugar, not much, just enough to put a little sweetness on it. I'm gonna add a little white wine. Little bit of rice vinegar, not much, but actually I'll put a little bit in there. A little bit of soy. And scallions. I love scallions. Oh yeah, I love scallions. And some. Cilantro. Love the smell of cilantro. Really nice. You can either use uh, cilantro or parsley if you want. Doesn't matter really. We use a little bit of baking powder. Not much. soda not much as well with that and then just gonna mix it up I'm gonna let that vegetate for a bit and I think to test the, uh, the uh, seasoning and so forth is you can uh, always put a piece on a paper towel and uh, microwave it for for a minute just to see how the how the taste is oh yeah Flavors are combining and all that aroma. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting thoroughly excited about making these pot stickers. Okay, so uh, I'll show you in a second how to, uh, how to make them. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making actually the pot stickers themselves. And you need to get one of these like a uh, it's a wonton, uh, wonton wrap or egg roll wrap or whatever. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of your your uh, seasoned beef. I'm going to put it right in the middle. You don't want to overload it. And then you take a little bit of water, wet the edges down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold 
I'm gonna bring everything in. Form sort of like a, a little purse, but you want to make sure that they're tightly wrapped. And you just, like I said, you're just gonna, you know, pick a little purse like that. And then you're gonna place them on a plate and cover them up with a, a wet paper towel. And, uh, just continue that just form a little purse what you're gonna do is just like I said, form a little purse and squeeze it nice and tight. There you go. Here, you also want to cover up your uh, your actual wraps themselves so that they don't dry out um, with a wet paper towel, of course. And uh, you just keep on. Uh, making and forming these little purses and uh, then we're gonna fry them up okay so I'm getting ready to uh, fry these up and I need to get my pan nice and hot and I know darn well I'll be switching uh, switching them um, elements because this one is uh, stays on high so I mean it's like I said I need a new stove but yeah so we'll, we'll try it and see see what it's like and see how this works and if I have to move it over to a, a cooler stove a cooler element then I'll do that so pan's getting hot and so I'm just gonna add uh, add some of the oil just gonna get them in there get them sizzling away <laughs> I'm so excited to try these Nice and brown on the bottom. And that'll cook for, for a bit, so. These are looking good. I'm getting excited. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Okay, so I want to check them now and see how they are. Oh yeah, nice and brown, look at that. That's what you want, nice and brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some water and start s steaming the buggers because that's what we want, we wanna steam. Steam them for a few minutes. And then they should be ready in no time. Oh yeah, okay, good. And these babies are done. So add a little bit of rice pickled uh, veggies, top it off with some cilantro, and you are good to go. And I gotta try these, oh man, oh they look so good, oh. Oh my God, 
Mm. So good. Just that hint of ginger. You can taste the garlic. You can taste, like everything hits you at once. Wow. Serve it with your favorite dipping sauce, whether it be uh, peanut sauce or plum sauce or whatever, you know, uh, it goes. Give it a try. Very healthy. See you in the next one.